Hello Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising. Welcome to your general reading for the month of May 2019. Today we're going to use the Celtic spread. Before we start, I'd like to thank everyone who have subscribed to my channel. Um, all those who have commented, those of you who've liked and shared my content, I am really grateful and, you know, I'm so chuffed to bits, really. Um, I don't know what to say apart from saying thank you. And if you are new, um, please, and if you like my content or you like the content, please feel free to subscribe to my channel, like and share and comment. And I'll always, you know, reply once I have seen your comments. So, um, yes, yeah, we'll, we, we'll get on with your reading. And let's see what the universe has got for you, Libra. So, this reading is for Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising for the month of May. Okay, so Tarot Universe, please tell us or give us some knowledge or wisdom about Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising. How they are going to be the main energy for May 2019. Okay. Wow, Libra, you got the Libra card. Okay, so, <laughs> so what's going to be crossing Libra in the month of May? Tarot Universe, please give us some knowledge. What is crossing Libra? Sun, Moon, and Rising in the month of May. Whoa, oh, <laughs> what is crossing you? How can this be? This one is first, this one is second. But, we'll check. We'll check with Rainbow, okay? Because there are three swords here. Oh so, this is Rainbow. Back and forth is his yes. Sideways is his no. Okay? So, Rainbow, please, can you confirm if the Page of Swords is what is crossing Libra? In this reading, please give us some answers. Oh, yes. He's going to make the decision for us. If the Page of Swords is what is crossing Libra, or not I'm sure you can see him okay okay he says no <laughs> he says no it's not a page so it must be the king of swords okay so rainbow please can you confirm if the king of swords is what is crossing libra in this reading please confirm we would appreciate your support and your help can you see him is making the decision okay it's a clear yes ha <laughs> this was the first card thank you rainbow so crossing libra is the king of swords right oh -ho. Okay, so what can be achieved in the month of May for Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising, Tarot Universe, what can be achieved for Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising, Tarot Universe, please give us some knowledge, what can be achieved for Libra in the month of May, please give us 
some more. This is jumped up. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So, what's going to be their main foundation for this reading? For Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, the month of May. Their main reason, main concern. Oh. Six of Swords. Oh, you got a lot of swords going on here, Libra. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, what has been most of Libras, people who are Libra, what's been in their past? Or what will be something that will be in their recent past? In May... Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Whoa. I feel naughty, but if it's the same one, they'll pop up one day. Okay. Got two. No. No. I feel naughty. Oh no, I feel I feel so naughty. <laughs> I feel so naughty. I need to pick them and ask Rambo. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, please, Rambo, tell us if the Six of Pentacles is for this reading. For Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Please show us. Please give us an answer for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If the Six of Pentacles is for this reading, he says yes. Right. So, this is in the past. So, Libra, Libra, we're going to check if we're going to use the Ace of Wands. Rainbow, please tell us, is this for Libra's reading? Is this part of the reading? Please give us an answer. We would appreciate your answer. If the Ace of Wands... Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, he says no. Can you see he says no? <laughs> oh, thank you, Rimbo. Okay. So what is coming for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising? What's coming in their future? What is coming? Whoa. The Strength card? Wow. Wow, this. Well, if you've got to make a decision, you need some strength, don't you? If you've got this guy here facing you so how is Libra going to be how is Libra going to be feel in this oh wow wow the ten of swords this is how you're going to be feeling this is how you're going to be now is we're building a picture here because this is your your reasoning. This is what most of you are going to be reasoning. Moving on, making the decision, and ending something. Wow. Okay. So what's going to be affecting the environment of Libra? Someone and rising in the month of May. Tarot Universe, please give us some knowledge. 
please give us some wisdom what is affecting the environment of Libra Sun Moon and Rising please give us some knowledge wow affecting your environment Queen of Cups so what's the hopes and fears for Libra someone in rising for the month of May hopes and fears what will be the of hopes and fears okay King of Pentacles and what's going to be their outcome for Libra someone in rising Tarot Universe please give us some knowledge some insight wow 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 and the fool yes it makes sense and the base is the four of cups okay right right let's give it like a few seconds you know like a moment you know <laughs> let's see what we've got here right okay I really like the spread you know because right away because we know what the questions and the everything falls down to we can see where this is going okay yes 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 so i'm going to start from the base yes so your base is you wanting to move on to something something you know or move on to from somewhere which hasn't been good for you to somewhere calmer okay that is the base okay that's going to be your base and that is why you are currently feeling you need to make a decision okay you need to make this decision but you have to open your eyes and make this decision because it looks like it's a very important decision okay it's very important yes it is because you got this guy here who is crossing you this is a decision a conversation that you need to have with someone yes okay so look at it this way yeah this guy although he's he says he's an Aquarius yeah but he actually have Capricorn in his his zodiac sign in his chart okay so this is not a guy who's too is he's not here to be too friendly can you can you see his face I ain't got time to be your friend I'm here to tell you what you need to hear and bye bye that's how this guy is he's not a snob but he just haven't got time for anything. So if you know anyone who is a Capricorn, doesn't matter how friendly Capricorns are, they're very focused. Okay? So this is someone, yeah, who is Aquarius and Capricorn as well. So you put those two together, don't mess with me. And this is you feeling you need to make a decision to move on from a situation that is not helping you okay this is not helping you and this is why you want to move on okay so don't close your eyes Libra don't close your eyes open your eyes take the blindfolds off face this guy tell him or her your peace of mind and move on because that's what you need to do this is no faffing about okay 
because he's not messing about with you so you don't you don't have that time to be like oh i'm gonna think about it i'm gonna think about it he's got his answers ready this guy has got his answers ready can you see him so any decision that you need to make libra you you need to take your blindfolds off and make that decision because it feels like there's a decision that you need to make and there's someone you need to speak to in this matter okay whatever the matter is you need to um speak up because this this guy is definitely crossing you he's not complimenting you that's i don't feel he's complimenting you okay so um what you need to do is to face face the music okay and dance to it because this is what can be achieved okay the knight of pentacles is something you, you, you like you're looking for a new start okay because this also goes with your hopes and fears looking for stability something you've been dreaming of this guy here is a Virgo this guy here is a Taurus and in, in Aries yeah so um, you could it could be a love affair you could be looking for a new start with a with a Virgo or an Aries or a Taurus yeah um, but this is your hopes and fears but looking at the fact that you know you want to move on to this situation because this is you something has to end okay this has to end this is how you're feeling <sighs> that's how you feel this is how you are going to be feeling is this is painful because there's more salts here which makes this even painful you know but sometimes this could mean like a group of people that you know you need to separate yourself from okay but it looks to me like looking at the you know the um this one and that one i feel it's one person but this could also because this guy is like in the army okay he's like someone who has gone to wars he's fought he's had victories um so this could also stand for governmental issues it could also stand for anything you know that is like sort of official ish you know what i mean it's a decision that you need to make but i also feel this is someone that you need to face okay but for some of you this could be someone who could be advising you in this situation for a few of you, this could be someone who you can go to for an, an advice that you can trust. Because this guy is not here to mess about. So if he is crossing you, you, you need to be mindful of what you are saying. Because he's, his shoppers, his, his, his swords are very sharp. He's been to war. He's won almost all his wars. And, and this is why he's the king of swords. Okay? So don't mess with him. And if he's someone who is complimenting you and giving you an advice you better take the blindfolds off libra and pay attention because he will give you the truth you know this is someone who will tell you as it is it's not going to sugarcoat his words so if he is complimenting you you need to pay attention carefully because if you don't listen he hasn't got time you know that's how this guy is it's like i told you this is what you need to do so if he is your boss and he's told you to do something and you haven't done it he's not going to forgive you easily that's how this guy is it doesn't matter how good he is he is straightforward i'm, I'm not here to joke i'm here to tell you what you need to do bye bye that's it okay so if he is complimenting you you need to take the blindfolds off and listen and if he is crossing you you better not mess about you need to speak your mind, stay your ground, and you still need to take the blindfold off and face the issue, okay? Because 
you want to move on from this situation okay and this is something that can be achieved okay because in your past I feel like you've had support you've had balance you've had stability okay that is in your um, near past or, or leading up to this so money could also be an issue influencing this situation here money could be an issue facing coming to this situation and looking at what is coming is the strength card okay so you know this shows that you have got the strength to do what you want to do what you want to do what you want to achieve <clears throat> yeah you have the strength the universe is giving you the strength that you need okay or you could um have someone who is a leo someone who is you know um diplomatic to help you to achieve um what you are looking for which is that it could be an offer um it could be money you know as i said from your past leading to this you could be waiting for um money to help you to move on for some of you you know it's something that can be achieved yeah and influencing your environment is the queen of cups okay this is someone who is born in june she's either cancer or gemini okay but obviously she's got more water in her chart so she is cancerian okay so this is someone that you can confide in that's how i feel okay this is how i feel because this is influencing your your situation or influencing your um environment okay so there could be emotional issues here looking at that okay they all have water 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 so this being an influence your emotions 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 yes these are babies so it could be your family life you know that's affected okay okay so your hopes and fears is the king of pentacles looking for a grounded you know stable life where life is abundant it's coming in it is coming in okay this is what you're looking for because you want to move on you want to move on to that but you've got an obstacle and the obstacle is for you to think about how to get out of you know this situation okay yes and your outcome is the fool how interesting is that starting afresh this is you this is you starting you see you started with an air sign you are an air sign you're an air sign you got all this air going on here you got a lot of air energy here okay libra so anything that you know you are looking for you are going to have a, a brand new start you know you have the strength 
to to combat this and then you start afresh okay you have the strength card don't forget that yes because once this has ended this guy who is here yeah this guy who is here wounded this is you look at that this horizon look at what is a brighter life there can you see that's the yellow and this the yellow here you've got a lot of yellows here so your solar perplex yeah there's a lot of yellow here or enough yellow here so you know most of you yes i would say even with the colors here is your your emotions your emotions you know your emotions here certainly certainly so this is also influencing it so your emotion you see there's water there's water and there's water you see so there's an emotional element here okay Libra I hope you this has been insightful for you and you've enjoyed the reading and yes your outcome is awesome and what is coming are all great you know so I'm really really happy for your reading it's not it's nothing to be sad about you know you want to move on and you are going to move on okay remember that yes yes all you need to do is phase the music okay right so um I want to thank you for spending your time here with me and you can always come back and watch your love reading which I'll be uploading soon and um, I like to wish you a happy month in May and looking forward to you know growing with all of you and I'd like to thank all of you for your support I'm really chuffed and so I wish you well and I'll see you next month or with your love reading.